You don't have the time, patience. Oh, I put the beeps in. <laughs> you put, put the, the beeps beep in? in? Oh, I've listened to it and been like, oh, he missed a beep. I'm going to put a beep in. I never missed a beep. If you, so beep, if you edit out our we'll stuff, be, I'll, I'll, quit the the show. Show. I'll, <laughs> I'll quit this show. I'll quit this Promise? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome to the episode of the Hoppy Crashing Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm Nate. Holy cow. Weather at 12. Weather at 12. <laughs> My name's Eddie. I'm here. The Hoppy Crashing News Copter. Yeah. Nope, gotta cut that out. Drinking in the airplane. Why do you have to cut that out? Because I hate that sound. <laughs> I hate that sound. You cut it out. It, I, I either. Well, why not, would you I cut either, it out? He's Uncle Joey. I either don't hit record until everybody opens their beer, or it's a I good do cut. sound. We have one good one. It's a good sound. No, it's not. It's a terrible sound. It sounds terrible on on mic. Ed, I hate Ooh. how that is. You're an interesting guy. I am. All right. I appreciate all the huh. audio quality. I try not to put out garbage. Uh, what are you guys drinking? Church music, and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I, I can tell. He's really excited it was good. It. it was good. If you listen to our last podcast, Ed was uh, ribbing me a little bit because I asked several times when we were at the uh, uh, at the shop how many how much of this they're making, and I'm pretty sure they actually did give us roughly an answer when we talked to us Jason. Jason. When we talked to Jason. I think he did give me roughly an answer. Well, he told us that like they. Of the all the new fermenters in the back, that I think five of them were. Yeah, were I don't know if we ever. Stuff. I don't know if I ever actually asked them to tell me how much, but I wanted to. You know, I, I did talk to them about how much they're making, and they are brewing it nonstop a lot. But you could always tell that uh, what's his name there was a little. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with uh, names, but I know it's uh, David. David and Dylan. Dylan, Dylan thank you. Were uh, you know they they want to be conscious to make sure that people understand that that's not all they're doing with their time. Right. And that's not what they're putting all their eggs into. Now, do they make a lot of it because the state needs it? Wants it? Wants it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a, that was a fun interview. And I wondered why it was so happy and fun. Because I wasn't there. There we go. Because Eeyore wasn't over there. Wasn't there. But yeah, it, uh, you know, it was, it was a good time. So yeah, I'm drinking church music, which you bought in a what pack? 12 pack? That's a 12 pack. That's nice. Yeah. Where'd you buy it from? You should drink this real quick and then let me, let me know what you think. Ew. How old is it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was packaged 15 days ago. Hey, buddy. Editor Chris here. I uh, just wanted to chime in real quick. So uh, after the episode, uh, Ed and I were having more of the church music, and it still just wasn't tasting great. So I reached out to the shop guys and talked to uh, Dylan there, and he actually informed us that there actually was uh, some cans that got damaged uh, and the beer was putting them and sent out to the distributor and they reached out to, to Hensley right away and tried to get all those back. You know, unfortunately they didn't get all of them. Um, but you know, even you can hear what we're talking. I think even Ed says that it tasted flat and yeah, the cans were damaged. Oxygen got in there. They, they were really not carbonated. So yeah, I just wanted to chime in and, and let you know that, you know, that's a weird experience that we had with them and we knew something was off. And so uh, but good on the shop for taking care of that, and, and right away just being like, you know, let's take care of that. Let's let's get something, you know, better product to you guys, and and you know, kudos to them for for the customer service and trying to get that stuff taken care of. So, uh, but yeah, enjoy. I don't know. Yeah, it don't, it don't, right. it don't taste quite right. It's a little not great. That's fine. I'm, I'm not hope. drinking it. I have one. I'm drinking something else, but I will try it. You try it now. Let us know. I like how you open the can and then you look at the bottom five, of the 16, can. Five sixteen, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think You're you, so fun. You put it in a glass. Uh, this is called science, and that's what matters. We're doing a control. That's what so I'm you saying. guys drank it straight. Did out you of the drink can. it before you put it in the cup? No, because you no, guys no, no, don't no, like I it. See. I still have some in the can. Yeah, I want to try it with. Yeah, we want to know what you think out of the can. Smelling it. No, no, I want to see if the glass makes a difference. It smells a little. You want to see if he agrees how it tastes out of the can. Yeah, I'm drinking it out of the can. But what if he drinks out of the glass and it does taste horrible still? I don't know. I'm not trying to disagree with you. I'm just, I want to make sure we get good data. Doesn't taste like church music. It doesn't have that like creaminess to it. Yeah. It tastes almost a little flat. I know, but something's not right about it. It smells a little well, weird out of the can. I'm glad I bought a 12 pack of it then. Ugh. It's, it smells better in the glass. Randall You're smelling it. the glass. Just Randall it, dog. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, yeah, where's that Randallizer? Listen, if we learn anything from the Randallizer <laughs> episode, uh, it, uh, it, that doesn't help. 
It yeah, does it help the uh yeah, sure it it made the uh cider core one better? Yeah, right? what, not, like, <laughs> like, what? But take a decent beer and put some good fresh hops into it. You never know. Eleven of the twelve beer things we did did not help. The Randall didn't help them. No, yeah, correct. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. It's not a sure. It's not. A, it's a, it maybe like we use the wrong hop. Yeah, well, it could be what it is too. But Cascade's pretty. I mean, that's a. Pretty, yeah, but should we use like a fine a finishing we'll, hop? Fine, we'll do a different experiment with that. We'll do good beers and then we'll put a finishing hop in there. Is what if not, we take a is bad this not beer? A good beer? A, that's what we did, and it was not good. Oh, you want to put a good beer and a good hop? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. if we take a stout and a sour that are both really good and oh, mix those? Shit, that would be. <laughs> That would be patron gold episodes. That'd be awesome. I mean, it does smell different in the glass than it does in the can. Yeah, a little bit. Not much. I mean, um, it tastes a little better out of the glass. Also, a newsflash. When, usually when it. somebody says cut this, yeah. I don't cut it. Try no, it, no I don't want to try it. Oh, you don't want to try it? <laughs> he doesn't want your gun to hurt for stuff like Yeah, it's I don't know. Whatever you got going on over there, I'm good with it. Listen, you already have it. In case you're wondering. <laughs> I already gave it to you. Multiple times. We went to Top Golf the other day. I'm sure he spit on the spit on the grip. Yeah, yeah. I was like, here, try this. <laughs> My dude. Why is his Why is his golf club so wet? It's moist. You gotta say moist. Why is it golf? Why is his club so moist? Okay, we gotta cut it. We gotta cut the bit. The bit. We have a couple of things we have to clear up okay. before cut that settle out. on the show. All right. Um. So the beer I'm really drinking God. before I was drinking the oh, uh, shirt tasty. music. I could tell just by the look of it. It looks is the uh, hockey check check style Pilsner from Hold Goldwater. Hold your glass up again. No, I've seen the can. They're still in the can. You want them? No, I'm good. I didn't no. drink out of the can. Uh, no, I'm fine. Sure, let's look at that. That looks tasty. It's crispy. It's frosty. It's good. I've already had it, but mm. there you go. No. Nope. So the first thing That's we got to clear up, and if you hear Nate crying in this next segment, You'll know why. Um, Chris, are we allowed to say coyotes now yeah, without they, bleeping it? Yeah, they don't exist. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Because they don't exist anymore, except for in the desert. There's a bunch of coyotes in the desert still. Yeah, sure. but those aren't the coyotes we're talking no, about. No, they are not. So if we say the Arizona Hockey Club coyotes, is that bleep? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll bleep that. But if we just use coyotes in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally fine. But what if we're talking about hockey and say coyotes? No, that's good. Because they don't exist anymore. Right. Okay. Yeah. Which is sad. Which Nate, how be? sad are you? I'm not really sad anymore. This I, was a month ago. I, I don't want to date us, but this was like a month or two ago now, right? You know? Or no, I we, I looked at the message that I'd ignored. It was 45 days ago. <laughs> so, so are you more hurt? <laughs> are you, so he's still more jaded that I didn't respond to him than he is about the actual coyotes ceasing to exist, <sighs> which technically they haven't. Okay, so here's here's the caveat. Technically, the coyotes still exist. Well, so should we that. bleep? Not going to bleep that now. Thanks. So do we have to bleep it? Because yeah. until Nate went to the... If you want to talk about anything that was worth cutting, it was this conversation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, we bleep it all the time. But technically, the oh, coyotes still it. exist. So do we have to bleep yeah. it? Yeah, that's true. All right, then yes. Okay. Bleeping all this. God, I have to bleep so many things now. Yeah. Well, and I think the other thing... I thought the subject was dumb. I was doing something for a minute. He's, very, <laughs> he's, he's still he's still in the... You? the ang- he's in the angry part of the grieving process. Yeah, like what part of the process? You're like, yeah, I listen, thought it was I a dumb conversation. I just didn't pay attention for a few minutes. You say dumb things all the time. I still pay attention. What do you say? No, you don't. Don't lie. <laughs> I mean, well, that's fair enough. I nod and smile when a lot. Ed says dumb stuff, we don't pay attention sometimes. I nod and smile a lot. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you comprehended it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I comprehended everything you said, and it, right. I guarantee it was dumb. <laughs> You're dumb. All right. This is all going to It doesn't matter. Oh, no. This is all staying. Cut. Cut that. Cut, cut that. It. Cut I'm that. Cut, I'm cut that. I'm going to cut. What else we got? Besides the Coyotes, Chuck Pilsner, Lager. Well, what do you think? What do you think Grand Canyon is going to do? I mean, is there beer? Were the, what, they were still making a beer. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, they posted about yeah. RIP this beer, I guess. I don't really? Know. Uh, okay. Oh, I, per, the Prickly Pear one or whatever there was. So I thought you were talking about when you said Grand Canyon at first, I was talking about like actually how they're making a hockey team. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like, met like Grand Canyon University. <laughs> no, but, they had they they had the Kachina beer uh in sixteen ounce cans, just as expensive as uh the, the you know the bombers that were like what how many ounces were in those bombers? So it was from like uh was it sixteen? I thought it was twelve. Maybe it was twelve. And the other, either way, there was the boat. There was like the twenty or thirty-two ounce bombers. No, not thirty-two ounce. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that would've been awesome. <laughs> either <laughs> either way, bummer. I wasn't a fan of it. Either yeah. way, it sucked. Yeah, yeah that's right. a good point. That's the best point actually. Is that it sucked regardless, and um, I'm glad it's gone. But I wonder how they feel about it. I wonder if they had a bunch, 
brood. Maybe. Well, probably not because they I mean they went through the end of the season and that was that actually. So they probably right. They finished the season. Yeah, now, so. that's a stupid question. So I wonder if they had any contracts for next year though. I'm sure they did because I mean technically the Coyotes were supposed to finish out two more years. I think yeah, at least. But now, are you going to be a fan of the Utah team, Nate? I might follow them, yes. If they get a name sometime. Dummies. They're voting. They're it can't be, be the, that fucking hard to name a team. The hockey, Actually, it is relatively hard to name sports teams because everything's trademarked nowadays. It's really hard to find a mascot that isn't trademarked. Oh, really? The porpoise. <laughs> yeah, you can, the porpoise. What's the no, plural of porpoise? The, the, the porpoises they should just porpoise. do the Yetis and be done with it. I swear to God, if they wait two years and it's the Yetis, they should definitely jump. have someone jump off a building. Wow. I just mean somebody who held it up for two years. You know? It's a good call. Because it's just already Utah Yetis. It's fine. It works. You're a Yeti. It's great. They call me a Yeti. Yeah. You're a Yeti. <laughs> You're a Yeti. You're a Yeti. Well, trust me. I don't know what that means. Out of all of us, one of us looks like a Yeti. What? Yeah. I don't have flip-up glasses and camouflage hat. You're ta- See, you knew I was talking about you immediately. <laughs> Because you're looking right at me and you said it. <laughs> That's literally how people know when you're saying something about them. You look at them, you're like, listen. I'm wearing clip-ons. Okay? <laughs> I wear prescription glasses. It's hard to be me. Uh, yeah, the coyote stuff wasn't interesting, but he decides that this is interesting. Clip-on glasses. <laughs> I, mean, I, um, I think it's sad the coyotes are gone. Yep. That's about it. Listen, I also think it's sad that they're gone. I know. I wasn't a huge, you know, Coyotes hockey fan, but absolutely. I was I was at the last game. That was fun. You were in Spain at that time, right? Yes. Yep. I was at the last game. It was cool. It was sad. Um, I took my daughter and went with some friends, and it was uh, it was a bummer. Yeah, like we're we live in a major goddamn city in the U.S., and all of a sudden, like, oh, major yeah, sports team. See you later. Coyotes, well, I mean, well, listen. I mean, that's Arizona sports in general. Is like yeah, nobody, you go to a game, then it's all the away team people visiting. It's, nobody gives a shit about the Coyotes, and nobody wanted it in Tempe. They wanted a landfill, and now they got a landfill and no Coyote team. We'll what see happened what to we'll Scottsdale? Like, what happened with all that? That could still happen in June, right, Ed? They could still. No, that's Phoenix. Just, <laughs> Sorry, okay. you're right. It's North Phoenix. But just just like on the border of a Scottsdale. border of Scottsdale. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, so sorry, yeah, you're yeah. probably still referring to the same thing. Yeah, well, it's like, um, but because Scottsdale mayor, was, well, was, he was honestly, I think he was the 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 camel that broke the straw's back. Okay, um, you know, I know how to switch that, but um, honestly, because I think that was su- I think what they've seen so much resistance in this city in this state that when another mayor came out and apparently there was documentation out that the city of Phoenix mayor really wasn't interested in meeting with them regardless to just give them that 100% support. Yeah. So not that I'm sure you won't cut all of this. Uh, the, um, I think that when the Scottsdale mayor came out and was like, well, we don't want it. We don't want it. I think honestly, the NHL was just like, we're so done. Really? That's a, we're it, so done hmm. because what? it just happened. One government entity, the, you know, sky Harbor meddled in that election in Tempe. Yeah. Um, you know, they did what they could to make sure that they weren't here. And now people are surprised. Some people are surprised that they're not here. It's like, well, nobody really wanted them. Yeah. You know, except Canadians that spend two months out of the year here. And unfortunately, they don't get to vote. Well, it's just it's, NIMBY Tempe voters do. Just a giant. Please leave that in. Giant area up there. Look where they were talking about putting up by the princess that like it was like, dude, you'd have the waste management up there. You have the princess route up there. You have if you had oh, be great. Be amazing up there. Like there's already there's already yeah. a ton of restaurants and well they were like you're not going to use Scottsdale water. They're like we know. <laughs> like, I, yeah, That's whatever. true. Yeah. Well. So whatever. it's silly. You know, it, it is a bummer, but we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get him back in the next five years. Maybe we'll get a new mayor. He's up for election this year. <laughs> you know, uh, Phoenix mayor. What's her name? It'd be nice if she wanted to really embrace it. Um, Scottsdale. I think they rolled back on their comments pretty quickly, you know, once they uh, realized they were causing a major problem. Yeah. Um, and at the and that the election included that they would not use their water. Yeah. The election, uh, not the election. I'm sorry, the, the, auction. the auction. The auction. Oh. The auction. They're gonna because what they're, they're gonna try to buy the land. They're gonna try to buy the land. All right. Okay. In North in North Phoenix there in North Scottsdale and them. And then the yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And Edward, anything to add? Nope, I think you covered it. Cool. Probably well, too long. Listen, I'm I'm not surprised. I'm gonna be real bummed that I don't get to hear about you know you forgetting stuff at the game and him picking it up and then having to 
Oh, I did that again. <laughs> I did that more than once. I he did that. I did it with him, and then I did it by myself. I got like I got like up a stairway, and then I realized it left the same spot. Yep. See, somebody's so sad that I'm I forgot about that anymore. So sad. All right, beer related conversation. The other topic we got to clarify is uh, with good news comes bad news. All right, because we broke the story unexpectedly that Monster Brewing became a thing when yeah, we well, talked yeah. to Sarah. Remember right. that? Yep. And inevitably, as what always happens, is layoffs come. Right. Of course. Which we would be wrong not to follow up. That um, so Monster Brewing Company uh, closed Cigar City facility and laid off most of the staff yeah brewery facility yeah that's what i said did you say brewery brewing brewing facility scarcity i thought you just said scarcity facility cigar city facility so we it's the story that replays time and time again buyouts mergers all this stuff nothing's gonna change everything's gonna stay the same we're still gonna make beer and then inevitably somebody gets laid off yeah and somebody loses their jobs unless you're sapporo evidently because they they the, the merger with stones official and they're expanding Sapporo Stone. Oh, did extent. you see the uh, that Sapporo an international brand? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's on this one. That's your Sapporo. Then it's fine. Did you see the? I think it was Don't <laughs> Drink saying. Beer. One of those Instagram accounts posted that uh, Sapporo was hiring in California for nineteen to twenty four dollars oh, for God. a brewer. God damn, that's not very good in I mean, California. That's terrible. That's awful. Would you take a brewing job at Sapporo for nineteen dollars an hour, Nate? Not in California. <laughs> yeah, no. <clears throat> I mean, you have to pay me to live in California. Like lots of money. Decent. Yeah, oh, all right. We'll get. A, we'll we'll get have a, to we'll, deal with people. We'll get a uh, people. <laughs> yeah, I know they're the worst. Ugh. People are the worst. Bunch of bastards. Uh, we'll get a GoFundMe for you. Sorry. Cool. So in March, Monster closed the Tampa production facility for Scar Series. City Brewing and laid off most of the staff, including founding brewmaster Wayne Wambles. Wambles. <laughs> okay, well, let's first, get in the ambulance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's all jokes aside, that feel, joke wrote itself. Oh, uh, I feel. I mean, that sucks. I'm sure he's heard that a thousand times. Yeah, he's probably. Um, but Cigar it. City sold a long time ago, right? Didn't weren't they? Uh, well, it was the Canarchy. Thing. It was a, yeah, it was a collective. So they all kind of joined together, and then I thought Cigar City was straight up purchased by like one of these AB InBevs a while back. No, it was always Canarchy. Okay, all right. All right. Which, I mean, fine. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's So the facility will transfer into a hub for the beverage company's beer-flavored malt beverages and spirits. Okay, so it's going to use it as a housing facility for all their, their shit. I'm sure it's going to make a lot more money as, a, as an empty room full of beer and drinks than it is sucking up money. Making, now, Cigar City, are they still a brewery? I mean, they, is their beer still being purchased, uh, still being made, or that you know, yeah, just, or gonna, because they losing this facility, is there are they done? Yeah, once they're going to brew it somewhere else and then still have the label, the brand yeah. still around, like you still get it. The questions but not. pointed at you, Ed. I would assume. I mean, we haven't really seen anything labeled Monster Brewing, right? Right. So it just could be. That's true. Um, I'm sure Sarah, Sarah, listen, she'll follow up and yeah, yeah, c- she'll clarify all, all our dumb comments. You dumb comments. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're dumb. Um, so Cigar City I'm was founded dumb. in 2007. One of Tampa's oldest Shit. breweries in 2016, it became part of the Canarchy Craft Brewery Collective, a group of breweries backed by private equity group Fireman Capital Partners. All right. In 2022, the group was part- purchased by Monster for $330 million. That's not a billion dollars. No, it is not. It is not a uh, ballast point. It's true. It's not. Have you drank their beer since they, they came back? Ballast? Yeah. Dude, I haven't had a sculpin in years. Yeah, because they're not. They're, they're are they back? Yeah, they, they got they, beer. Well, they got bought out by who was? Wasn't it the? Uh, it was that whatever liquor chain in Chicago that bought. Oh, right. Convicts. Convict. Right. Yeah, yeah. Convict I bought we talked them about that. for like nothing. That's not right. even close. And so, but they're. I mean, now you have a So is it like okay? Well, maybe we. That's crazy. I mean, is it just one of those things where it was good for the time and now it's like, eh. I don't think Sculpin was ever anything special that you can't. No, well, people, out. people lost their mind over all of them, but yeah, I, I know it. what you're saying. I don't get it. I just miss anything Green Flash did. Yeah. Road Warrior, West Coast IPA, um, the Palette Wrecker. Um, 
gosh, there's probably one more I can't think of, but I miss all their the triple palette record. I think they had like a triple of it. I just miss all of Green Flash's beers. Yeah. So it was Kings and Convicts. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And part of no it. official numbers came out, but Brew Brand, uh, Brewbound says the banks, like Credit Suisse, uh, guessed it was under a hundred million dollars. Yeah. So was that ten percent? <laughs> They got nothing back for it. It's insane how much they bought it for. And then they're like, well, I, I, we sold it for. I wonder how much the original facilities that includes. Yeah. You know, we know I mean, we don't really know what we, that includes for real estate. It's true. I'm trying to see if this article says what they acquired, but. All we know, they got the naming rights. I mean, it's all you need, though, for the brand. I mean, absolutely, one hundred percent. I'm just saying, you never know if they. I mean, it, right. as far as such a as such a hit on the, you know, I mean, if they didn't get ten facilities out of it, you know, in, in tap rooms or whatever, they right. lost like, out they of kept the deal. The, then you know, man, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Well, if you have the physical assets of the yeah. the place, but yeah, exactly. Just, just that, the distribution and all that still stuck with them. Maybe mm-hmm. for a hundred million, I'd hope they got something more than just the naming rights. Yeah. You would hope a big book, <laughs> a big book of names. Yeah, big 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 book of information. <laughs> brewery, you know, uh, brewery yeah. rec- brew recipes. The lexicon of all the different verbiage they use. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> this is a pint glass, fifty bucks. <laughs> Does it have gold leaf on it? We'll sell it for two hundred. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Jeez. Uh, so I'm back. I brought all the negativity back to the show. You're welcome. All right. Perfect. I missed it. <laughs> well, listen, I actually have a whole thought that we probably can't get into at the moment, but we'll we'll talk about it offline and then we'll. Are you going to meet us for food and record with us? We're, when? We're going to keep doing that. The ro- the road the road warriors. We're going to do road sodas. Yeah, we just we meet the for road food. warriors. <clears throat> and, my, and he wears a mic that doesn't work. <laughs> that, yeah, that was, that was you great. still haven't figured those out yet? <laughs> no, 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 he, he did. He just, this one episode, he fucked it up. Well, my beard fucked it up. Oh, mm, that's right. Yeah. Beard. He just wore it on the wrong side of his shirt. Yeah. Like a dummy. Clip it on your hat. <laughs> Nate, you can wear your clip on glasses and your clip on microphone and be a total I'm not douche. Wearing that inside tombstone. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. And it wasn't a good setting. You can wear inside. one of those earpieces for your phone. We tried to do it at 100 Acre, and it was just not a good setting. 100 Acre? 100 Mile. 100 Mile Brewing, brewing Company. Yeah. This is not a good setting. That was not yeah. my favorite place to eat. So you guys are starting a food podcast? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. No, We're, no, and then, no. you know what? I, I My thought was we'd get a bunch of people to come write for us and make a magazine of oh, Arizona awesome. food and beer. We should be good. Anyway, and then we'll spend it to drinks, maybe. And then it's you like, should do a one-bite pizza review. And then it'll, <laughs> just, oh, it'll just review itself. It'll uh, just run itself. It was, yeah, I don't have to do anything at that point. I just let it run. It just runs itself. It'd be great. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No. Um, Are you guys ready to move on to something more positive? Yes. I'd like to see you try. Uh, 2024 <laughs> World Beer Cup. I dare you. Winners and not losers because we're only talking about winners. Yeah, we don't care yeah. about winners. Listen, I, winners. Listen, I only put the winners of Arizona in there. I don't care about the rest of the winners from other categories. Yeah, we're never going to drink that beer. <laughs> yeah, come on. We might. Well, but it does look good. Chris, do you know the winners? Of what? I just said the 2024 World Beer Cup. Yeah, Oso's on there. No. Uh, Goldwater is on there as well. Uh, f- the is it Fate? Because the, the I want to say Fate was a winner. Nope, it's not Fate. Who who makes the uh? Oh, it's Goldwater. The, the oats, my goats. Right, and then no, you got to tell me now, Ed. Really so we'll know. go from bronze to silver. Okay. So Goldwater won for oats, my goats, okay. which is a note mill stout, and they are from Scottsdale, AZ, USA which is oh, convenient for us. <laughs> and then we have two silvers. One was Petal House for Day Drinker. Surprise, surprise. Yep. Um, for International Light Lager. Okay. The other silver is Sudoku by Oso Brewing at a Gilbert. And that one under the Herb and Spice beer category. Hmm. And he's then the Spain. long... He's in Spain for like two weeks and now he's saying Herb. Because there's a fucking H in it. <laughs> is it aluminum too? <laughs> God, man. Um, and then the gold, the one gold was 12 West Brewing for the Zona, a con- contemporary American style lager. Nate, how many of those beers have you had? What was the first one again? I'm sorry. Oh, it's my goats. I've had that. Goldwater. Mm-hmm. Day drinker from Petal House. I don't think I've had that. Yep. 
And uh, and the next one, go ahead. Sudoku. Nope. From Oso. Haven't had that. Yeah. Definitely haven't had and that. And then the Zona from Pole West. Have that. Have that. I want to say I've had that. You've had it. Yeah, I want to say I've had that. Check your own tap. <laughs> I, don't, I don't check things in there. <laughs> this beer is probably not in there. So it's yeah. a little bit of a different list from the normal winners we're used to seeing at events. The, the gold. It's funny. I saw uh, 8-Bit at uh, Fan Fusion. I was right. Talking, I was talking to Ryan a little bit. and uh, Comic-Con weekend here in Phoenix, right? Yeah. And uh, I was, you know, was just like... just. Chitting, like there was basically a line to like you know, they, 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 you got a wristband for an ID, but you know, kind of like had to go in front of their booth and talk to them a little bit, and oh, then you nice. get your the, your uh, drink at the end. So you know, waiting in line is talking to them, and uh, you know, I was like, hey, we, we might be heading up to GABF this year. We might be cool to sell you guys up there. You guys, you know, what you plan on you know releasing? Are you are you submitting anything? And he's like, nope, too busy. We got way too busy this year. Can't can't even can't even do it. Yeah, so. Well, that's good. Which that's a like, good hey, problem to have. That's why I said I was like, hey, seems like a really good problem to have. Probably needs to stick around and make money. Right. So, I mean, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. We need to talk about uh, GBF planning as yep. a group, three of us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is I, there? And you'll have to respond and talk to us and tell us what you want to do. That's not true. I don't have to do anything. That's true. <laughs> Chris, me and you will figure out how to do it. Okay. Um, We're in. Are there any categories of World Beer Cup you would like? Do you know the results that were not Arizona breweries? Yes. No, I don't care. God, give okay. me some Michigan. examples of Michigan. some of their categories. So we have American wheat beer. I don't care. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, oh. like literally the first category. <laughs> I just put them in alphabetic order. American Belgio style ale. Belgio, like a B- American Belgian. No, B E L G O. Don't care. Was his name <laughs> uh, Amber? Sure. Tell me about the Ambers. Uh, we got. For the gold was Infrared from Farfield Brewing Company out of Lawndale, California. Okay. That was the gold. We don't care about anybody else. Yeah, I want to know who's silver. Tell me silver. Uh, well, at least, I guess, at least tell us if anything and we have a chance of knowing it. Nope. All out of uh, one out of Australia. But then we definitely won't know it. <laughs> all right. Next category. Um, we have the Amber American style Amber Lager. There we go. Maybe that's what I meant to begin with. <laughs> We have uh, yeah, why don't you say that? First Chismosa, thing. Old Caz beer from no. Ronner Park, California. Don't care. Jesus Christ. Um, let's see if they're American style black ale or American style stout. Okay. Those aren't the same. How the hell are those I'm one category? Now. Go ahead. Um, so the gold was uh, falling up from Grains of Wrath Brewing at a Camus, Washington, or Camus. Um, Foca Parlente. Cerveza, Cer- ah. Jesus Christ, Cerveceria Wetland at an Ensenada, Mexico. What's that? The silver? Yes. Okay. And the bronze is Black Cliss from Boise Brewing at a Boise, Idaho. All right. Um, Next one. American style Imperial Stout. Nope. No, don't give a shit. Uh, American style IPA. Yes. Uh, we got High Six from Highland Park Brewing, Chinatown. Okay. Out of Los Angeles. We got Hot Fu from North Park, San Diego, it's California. It's still the same ones. The same. And then Single Cone from Alvarado Street. Oh, okay. Out of Salinas, California. Damn. American Style Lager. Yeah. Uh, Cole's Light Lager from Wild Ride Brewing out of Redmond, Oregon. Hey, I've been to Wild Ride. Um, Linebrook Lager from True North Ale Co. out of Ipswich, Maine. Ipswich. Have you been there? True know. North Elko. Sure, I drove it, drove through it. Oh no, I've never been there. True and North. Then, is it called True North? Yeah, True North Elko. Hmm, check it out. Uh, Orlando Adams. Lager, New York Beer Project, Orlando. That doesn't make any sense. Orlando, Florida, Orlando, Orlando. No, Winter Gardens, Florida. Oh, right. So New York Beer Project out of Orlando, or New York Beer Project, Orlando, out of Winter Gardens, Florida. I'm guessing they have multiple locations. Probably. Um, do you care about sours? No. Strong pale ale. No. Belgian fruit beer. Uh, Belgian you, style. You look ale at the top fr- three and of the any of these ones you're that we're saying no to, and you make sure to tell us if anything <clears throat> is interesting, but no, not really. I'm looking. Nobody cares about Belgians, right? Yeah, I much. mean, except for the Belgians. Yeah, <laughs> Belgian people. And that's from a waffles, then maybe we'll Oh yeah, I sh- I meant to watch Band of Brothers today. The whole series? Yeah, at least the one. Oh, okay. here's here's one uh, close to Chris's heart. Chili beer. Oh, excellent. Cave uh, Creek. 
Philly Chili from Iron Hill Brewery and Restaurant in Newtown, Pennsylvania. Is that a Philly cheesesteak beer? No, it's a chili beer. You said Philly Chili. Yeah. They're in Philly. I know, but it could not, <laughs> could it not be a Philly cheesesteak beer from Philly. Move on. That has Next chilies one. in it. Next one, Ed. This is offensive on all fronts. Uh, <laughs> Jalapeno IPA from Masthead Brewing Company out of Cleveland, Ohio. Listen, that's like the, uh, what's that, uh, the paste picante sauce? <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's made in New York City. New York City. No, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and then the bronze goes to Little Salmon Fire from Sacred Waters Brewing Company out of Kellispell, Montana. All right. Better category. Um, Goza, dessert pastry stout, Nate's favorite. Dortmunders, uh, English ale. Keep English mild Keep experimental beer. Sure. Uh, Hill and hollow Cayuga Cinderland's beer company, food or house Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What kind of beer though? It just says experimental beer. Okay. No, fuck that. Then I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Then uh, don't even tell me that anything else about experimental. That's what the hell's stupid. a field beer? It's a beer drink in the field. Um, You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> it's only field works. Field works won that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into some German categories because right. that's Nate's favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, do you yeah, want how about just take Kolsch? A, pick a couple more and then we'll wrap it up. Here. All right. Uh, German style Pilsner. Yes. Uh, Pilsner from Frem Family Breweries, Hood River, Orgrim. 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 Jesus Orgrim. Christ. These bo- the two, gold and silver are both named Pilsner. That's their. That's the name of the beer. They won both? Enough. No, they're oh. both named Pilsner, but the two different things. Oh, they don't that's have a big name. thing. For uh, sea Pine that's Brewing Company from Seattle, Washington. And then downshift from Transmission Brewing from Ventura, California. Uh, Schwartz beer, Nate. Do it. Uh, Nachrapt from Ogopogo Brewing out of San Gabriel, California. Dark and Marvelous from Frick, Flicks Brewhouse, Oklahoma City. Because okay. the fl- Flicks isn't here anymore, right? Now it's Look Brewing, the one yeah. that was in Arizona. I no I idea, dude. You're, the you're- movie theater breweries. You're bringing, yeah, no idea. Here. And then, uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Whatever every yeah, you yeah. say. No, it's the, it was the theater. It was like, they did like an Alamo draft, Alamo draft House situation going gotcha. on. There's flicks in downtown Chandler. Surrender Cobra from Big Beach Brew Company from Gulf Shores, Alabama. Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> I think that Alabama, what's a Alabama black state? <laughs> Another good one. Come on, better categories. Gluten beefer? Gluten beefer? Did you say gluten beefer? <laughs> gluten beef beer? <laughs> gluten no, beaver. not, glu- not gluten free. free. Um, Couldn't give a shit. Herb and spice? Nope. Nope. Honey beer? Nope. Hoppy lager? Because we're hoppy lager boys. Ow! Um, ice foo from North Park Beer Company. Oh, I bet that's good. Is that uh, like a fucking that ice, sounds ice, good. Ice, ice hole beer? Like where I it's bet just, it's good. Right. Or what if it's a cold IPA? Or well, a cold lager. <laughs> well, it is cold lager. Oh, but cold I mean, lager somewhere, right? Uh, branching out from everywhere out of Orange, California. It just works. Green Cheek Beer Company. Mm, okay. And then what else do we want? Good category. Nothing, nothing. Good category. Juicy good. Hazy IPA. No whammy. No whammy. Ow! Let's Jimmy, go. Jimmy Buffett ruined my life from Swells. Swell. What the hell? S W E L L S apostrophe A Brewing. Swells. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Like, I think no matter what, it's always bought. It's a boss. It's, it's a newly in accident, no matter what. Like, ah, it swells a swells a or whatever, I guess. Then. The city's cool from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. So, okay. No, not. Uh, Space Cowboy with an I. So it's a boy. Bois. Boy. Bois. Uh, Crooked Can Brewing Company from Winter Garden, Florida. Unfettered Soul from Strange Bird from Rochester, New York. Cool. <laughs> uh, do you want Keller beer or Zwickle beer? I want you to pick one more good one and then wrap that up. All right. Um. No. 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 Dunkle. Non-alcoholic. How about that? All right. Two more. No. That one. <laughs> you want the non-alcoholic? Yeah, kind of curious. Um. Interesting. Black Butte non-alcoholic from Deschutes Brewing. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I dark non-alcoholics just seem hmm. weird to me. Yeah. Hmm. I got a friend who drinks NA. I'd love to have him try that. 
Is Soul sour from Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he did air quotes when he said that out loud. It's weird. <laughs> Soul Sour from Athletic Brewing Company. Yeah, they they make a lot. We've had some of their beers. Mm. And then Night Strike from Leader Brewing out of Palm Bay, Florida. Um, all right, we'll find one more. That's, one more. One more good one. One Oh, more. here's a good one. Pumpkin beer, Chris. All right. <laughs> Pumpkin and lager, which sounds disgusting. That doesn't. Go together at all. <laughs> I've had a pumpkin lager. From yeah, I would punk you. Carbock Brewing lager. Company <laughs> out of Houston, Texas. What's it called? Carbock. Carbock. Okay. Uh, and we have Rise of the Pumpkin King, Sound to Summit Brewery. <laughs> Rise of the Pumpkin from King. From Son- <laughs> Sonomish, Washington. There's a dance going on over there. And then Pumpkin Spice Bucket of Bolts oh. from River North Brewing out of Denver, Colorado. I like that name. But, pumpkin Spice Bucket of Bolts. I love that name. Yeah, it's a pretty good name. I mean, it's too like bad they name. wasted it on a pumpkin beer. Yeah. I mean, too bad they wasted it on a pumpkin lager beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was pumpkin or and or lager. I think it was just a pumpkin style beer, but include lagers. Edward, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like how you argue, and then you're like, no. I, pumpkin lagers, just, like, I don't want to drink a lager for Halloween. So I want to drink a pumpkin porter. Or, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, dark, dark beer. We've talked about this many times. Darker beers with pumpkin is the way it's, to go. It's, it's, that's what you got. Every do. time. Yep. Because here's my thing. I think I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because pumpkin as a savory dish is disgusting. I'd rather have pumpkin in a dessert. So I want like a stout or something sweet. Here, you want this pumpkin pie or this pumpkin soup? Like, come on. (laughs) I I had pumpkin pie for breakfast this morning. I'm gonna punch you in the throat if you say soup. Right? Yeah. Pumpkin pie, but like, yeah, that sounds like delicious breakfast food. (laughs) Come on. It was. Yeah, I, I, I don't doubt you. So to finish up, since you guys mentioned uh, GABF, what do you think holds more clout, GABF or World Beer Cup? World Beer Cup's a cooler name. I mean, Great American Beer Festival. I think automatically, I guess, that the World Beer Cup holds more clout because it's the world, not the Great American. I think. Hey, we're the, the United States is undefeated in the World Series. That's so. 100% true. <laughs> Every time. NFL, too. <laughs> I think that they hold different weight for also back to back world champ of world wars. Yeah. Okay. People versus uh <laughs> We're lose a whole country brewers. Brewing. Right. I think I think one holds more for brewers in general because it is a bigger stage, right? But I think that if you're a drinker in the US as a, a gen, like a general public people, I think GABF means more to people in the, the US drinking. Right? As an American, yeah, I suppose it probably holds more clout. It's going to hold more American submissions. But probably. as a but as a, a brewer, I think that people are like, oh yeah, no, World Beer Cup means more to, to them. Right. Probably. Do but, you think people give a shit that people win these things? I think some people do. Yeah, because I know it's gonna be. A, I know it's gonna be a good beer. Well, I think people will see, especially if you use it as marketing in your in your brewery. If you so, if it, you put 2014. Uh, yep. Yeah, and you, if you're undecided, on GABF like, winner if, for uh, candy bar, well, I mean, right? <laughs> but, but but people are gonna see that and go, "I've never had any of these beers. Which one should I try?" And they're gonna see that. Well, this one on awards, it's got to be good, and they're gonna try that. If, That's how it works. The cool thing, I mean, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Do you I've, think the average beer drinker even notices it? Not notices us, what? not us beer nerds. Notice is what? That people win awards. Like if you walk into Ren House for the first time and you see like GABF 2018 Yeah, I think, I think it's, they do a good job of keeping it on an elk's head at the top of the, at the top of the bar. You know, they got all those medals. Is it an right elk? There. I thought it was a but jackalope. But like, right, I, it's a jackalope. I think, I think those are the more people that are going to be more affected by it. You think they're looking for that? I think they're going to uh, God, your hand is so warm. <laughs> it's not as moist as it normally is, but it's very warm. That is so weird. I'm glad I'm this, on this side of the table. Come here, buddy. I think that the average, like, the not, like, beer, craft beer geeks, I think it doesn't I thought matter. you said the not beard, bearded craft beer geeks. <laughs> not the bearded craft beer geeks. I, I think the people that are like us that, like, know a lot about craft beer into craft beer and, and follow a lot of these things. That's debatable. I, I don't think uh one hundred percent. Yeah, that's true. But I don't think that they they we, we care as much. I mean, at least I don't I don't care as much as when they win medals for places. I mean it might but but when I go to some place I've never been to and I've I haven't had any of their beers before. If it, I know it's a JBF winner. It's it's gonna make me prob- want to buy it more. Probably gonna try it. Yep. Probably at least get a five ounce yeah. of it. Gonna sh- give it a shot. I know that as a, I guess it doesn't really matter for me because I always I already like Ren, but I guess if I went there and I knew they had a GABF winner on tap, I'd be like, yeah, let me try that. 
any st- any any brewery in the state. I mean, you know, if they've got a G, what they have is a GABF bronze, but, but, silver, but, but gold. But I don't, think, I don't think it even matters if it's GABF. I think it's a winner of yeah. a medal. If you tell somebody you want a medal for this beer, they're going to want to try it. Yeah. Especially for the people that aren't yeah. into craft beer or just there for with, with whoever, right? True. Uh, it makes more sense to them. Yeah, true. Good segue. Now, do you think if we do go to GABF and you see well, me and Chris the results and you see the judging, do you think your opinion will change on seeing a GABF winner? Because I think my opinion's changed after we've gone to the Arizona Craft Beer Awards. Well, like, like so... Why? Because you see it's a narrow field or... You see how many entries they are. You see who wins and you see kind of you can tell the politics of it a little bit. There's not much because it's so small. Yeah. But and maybe GABF. There's got to be a lot of politics of it here. Yeah. But I mean, they're not as recognizable because it's so small and it might be the opposite for GABF. I hope it's it's so big. I hope it's that politics can't even factor because there's just so many breweries and so many. They see they use independent testers like john you know what i mean knowing that john is the kind of person who's doing the tasting and they they get guys like that to do the tasting it, it's i think you over, hem and hot. well i think i think overall we, we learn more about how beer awards and stuff are are done and that's why i said that's why i don't think it means as much to us as it probably does to like the people that don't know as much about the beer awards in general because you can have a style of beer that matches all their criteria but necessarily isn't the best beer. And you can have a beer that tastes really, really good, but will not fit a category and won't win a medal because of it. Yeah. That's like it, dark sky will probably never win a medal because they just don't fit into categories very well. Right. They make great beer, yeah. but they're not category type beers. It, it's just, and that's just the way the game's played, right? They're playing, you're playing a game and you're, you're brewing a beer to fit a category. And I think that for me, it, it holds less weight now as it used to. It used to be like really kind of was like, oh, that's that's pretty impressive. That's awesome. And don't get me wrong. Nothing to take away from these people that brew beer for these things. That is awesome. They win medals. Especially in categories like that are popular, right? It's hard It's hard to win no matter what you do. Even to try to like, you know, if you're really gunning for that one category but it's real popular and you win, then that's awesome. But I don't know. It doesn't hold as much weight as it used to. Because I don't know the game's played. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you, you pull back the curtain a little bit and you're kind of like, eh, I don't know what I was doing back there. I don't really. It's not as magical as it used to be, I guess. Sweet. Does this mean we're doing the Hoppy Crafts and Beer Awards? Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see who shows up to that. Nobody. No, we'll just do it on the podcast. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I got the awards lined up. We'll get the aluminum cups, the aluminum solo cups, and we'll just write the beer's name on there. I like it. Or the brewery's name on there, and we'll just take it to them one day. We'll yeah. do a silver, <laughs> silver sharpie, make yeah. it real nice and gold. Sharpie. No, because the cups are silver because <laughs> oh, they're aluminum. Sir, so we'll get the gold sharpie. Gold sharpie. <laughs> cool. I love it. All right. For it. It's great. Okay. All right. Good episode. It's great to see you all for so long. All right. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Just, Thanks for listening. Bye bye. If you'd like to become a part of the Hoppy Craft Beer community, here's where you can connect with us. Our website is hoppycraftsman.beer. You can find us on Instagram and threads at Hoppy Craftsman. Our YouTube channel, Hoppy Craftsman. If you want to go above and beyond to support the show, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash hoppycraftsman. And we do have some supporters who are generous enough to donate to this show. And those people are Terrence Hollows, Jeff Johnson, Zach Dominguez, and Cena Gomez. If you want to support the show, we have multiple tiers. Just go to Patreon, like I said, patreon.com slash hoppycraftsman and join one of our tiers.